Welcome to another video um, here. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about multiplying rational expressions. Um, and so there's a, a few key things to remember um, as we uh, as we go in through this. And so really the idea is that we want to break um, these problems into pieces. And when I mean pieces I mean factors. So we want to break them into factors. And then uh, the second thing is we want to then cancel out common factors. And one thing that we, we uh, are going to look at is you can't just start canceling out things that look the same. They actually have to be factors um, in order to do that. So let's take a look at the problem of y squared plus 3y cubed over y squared uh, minus 4 times 2y plus y squared over y plus 4y squared plus 3y cubed. So as I just said, we're going to start by breaking these into their pieces or by factoring it. So let's just start in the top and let's look at the y squared plus 3y cubed. We see it's a binomial. It's not a difference of squares because we're adding. Um, but we can pull out a greatest common factor of y squared. Now we need to remember to keep our placeholder, so y squared divided by y squared is actually 1, and then in the second term we're left with 3y. Okay, let's go to the bottom here. y squared minus 4 we see as a binomial, which is a difference of squares. So we take the square root of the first minus the square root of the second times the square root of the first plus the square root of the second. Um, now let's go to the numerator of the second one. We look and we see that we can just pull out a greatest common factor of a y and we're left with 2 plus y. And then on the bottom here, um, we'll take some time and do this over here, um, but with y plus 4y squared plus 3y cubed, we can pull out our greatest common factor of y. So we're left with 1 plus 4y plus 3y squared. And now we, we see it's a trinomial, so we're going to factor that. Um, the way we've been doing it is taking the first and the third, multiplying those together, and finding factors of positive 3y squared that will give us a positive 4y. And so we can see that if we have 3y and 1y, when we add those together, we'll get 4y. So we can come and we can replace that middle term with the, the factors that we just found. And then we can factor by grouping. And so we can pull out a 1 here, so we have 1 plus 1y. One we can pull out a 3y here, and we're left with uh, 1 plus y. And then we see that we have 1 plus y and 1 plus y here. And then what's left is the 1 and the positive 3. So positive 3y, so then we have 1 plus 3y. Okay, so we put that down in our denominator. Now that we have it all factored, now we can start looking at what we can cancel out. And so we look for common factors on the top and on the bottom, and we can cancel them out. Um, don't cancel side to side, because um, that would just mess things up. So 1 plus 3y we see is here, and we see it's here. 2 plus y and y plus 2 are the same. Uh, both the y and the 2 are positive. And then we look, ooh, guess what we forgot? We forgot this y. So this, that factor needs to be there. Okay, so then we see that we have a y that can cancel. And so on the top, these all turn to 1, by the way. y squared times 1 times 1 times 1 is just y squared. And on the bottom, the denominator, we have uh, y minus 2 times 1 plus y. And we could leave it like this, um, or we could take and foil out the bottom um, and get y squared over, so if we have y minus 2 times 1 plus y, you get y plus y squared minus 2, okay, minus 2y. Combine our like terms. So you get y squared, I'm going to put this in descending exponential order, minus 1y, minus 2. And so we could say that it's y squared minus 1, 1y, one minus 2. So either one of those 
um, will work um, for your solution. Uh, if this helped you at all, um, go ahead and like this video. You can check out the other videos that I have posted uh, on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.